Hi guys, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today we're going to be looking at this 2010 Mazda MX-5. Or if you're in America, the Miata. These are known as over there. And I'm a real fan of these little sports cars. This one's the hard top convertible. Um, just come into us literally a day or so ago from a main dealership. As you can see, finished in metallic blue. Which suits the car lovely. These new shaped ones have got lovely curves to them with the arches. You look to the front there. It's got proper sort of flared wheel arches. And if you've got a nice dark metallic like this, it really does show off those lines perfectly. So they originally, the, the Mark 1, Mark 2 MX-5s were soft top only, but this one's actually the folding hard top. I'll show you how it works in just a second. Get the top down on it. This particular car has come to me with just 60,000 miles from you. Very, very low mileage. Very good condition as you would expect from a car with, with such a low mileage on it. The wheels are pretty much like new on it, they're pretty much immaculate. Good tyres all around as well. It's got the reverse park sensors on it as well. And I do prefer them with this folding hard top roof because you've got a proper heated rear screen. It's just, it looks nice as well. It's got a nice curvaceous sort of look to it, the roof. It gives the car, I think, a little bit nicer lines in a, in a strange way. Even though the, the soft top follows a similar sort of design in terms of the... Uh, the sort of design of it because it's a soft top it hasn't got quite as crisp an edge and i do prefer it with this hard top on it i think it's a much nicer looking car so uh join me a second i'll be inside the car and we're going to fold the hard top down on the car show you how that works so here we are behind the wheel of our mx5 so first thing this is a 1.8 liter se model of mx5 so it's five speed manual um nice conventional layout it's got the cloth seats inside it but it has got you know a nice sort of feel inside they've got a good quality sort of dash and layout to them typically mazda being mazda being japanese very very reliable i've never ever had an mx5 give me any real problems to speak of um <clears throat> let's just start the car up let's give it a quick uh, start up and show you then how the roof comes down on it so my simple startup sequence the thing i love about these cars is they're pretty basic they're pretty simple it's a normal key it's got a normal handbrake and it's got a normal five-speed manual gearbox this is the type of car guys that you will not be able to buy in 10 years time because everything's going to be electric automatic not have proper handbrakes stuff switches so it's your last chance to buy a proper car that you actually do things on yourself but that said, it's got things like multifunction wheel, it's got a few mod cons in it, but most things are manual, even down to the fact that you haven't got auto lights, you've just got a manual on and off switch. And I like that, because I'm more than capable of knowing if it's dark or not, just by looking out the windows. Okay, so first thing to do is, let's press the button by here, and we flip that back. That's the only manual thing you have got to do for the roof because the rest of it is done off these switches on the dashboard. So press that one there, the windows drop, the boot flips open with a little cover behind it, and the roof goes back in two pieces. It's simple, it's fast. That glides back in place. And hey, presto, that beep tells me that it's finished its sequence. So let's have a look outside again. So here we are back outside, roof down, you really start to appreciate the MX-5. It's got classic roadster lines. Long bonnet, short tail, nice sweeping sort of rear to it. You know, compared with a lot of hard top convertibles where you've got a massive bulbous boot, they've done a very elegant design of this hard top MX-5. The, the roof is technically stowed there behind the seats at the moment this is the panel that you see lifting up the rear heated window is folded underneath that roof panel it's a very clever design very clever indeed in actual fact let me just show you the boot on it because you don't really lose a great deal of space from that roof you've still got the same boot as far as i can tell that you get in the soft top version plenty of space in there I mean, you don't buy an MX-5 for its boot space anyway, but there's certainly enough for two people to, you know, have a couple of overnight bags to go away for the weekend. If you're buying a car like this, that's all you want. Also, 
note that it has got the twin tailpipes on the back. That's something I do like on these. Just gives the car a nice proportion, I think, and, you know, it just finishes it off, really. You know, these, these particular models with the hardtop and the SE spec are quite sought after. Um, you do pay a little bit of a premium over a soft top version, but it is worth it. Especially if you're going to be using your MX-5 all year round, because the soft top version, it is a pretty flimsy soft top. And, you know, it does get a little bit damp in a, in a soft top one in the winter. When you've got the hard top one like this, it just, you know, makes a hell of a difference to the car. And it's a car that I would happily drive all year round. They're pretty good on fuel, they're pretty cheap to run, and they don't go wrong. So it's actually quite a practical everyday car. So, if this is of interest to you, please get in touch with me. My number is 07932 873 646. Our MX-5 is available for national delivery, and will come with three months parts and labour guarantee. We're happy to take your old car in part exchange. We'll be happy as well if you give us a, a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. You'll see more updates like this, more cars like this um, being offered, and also some handy buying tips for used cars. That number one more time, 07932 873 646. Please don't forget to give us a like. Please comment below as well. Let us know your own buying experiences with MX-5s. Have you had one of these before? How did you find it? Myself personally? I think they're actually a really, really good driver's car. If you, uh, you know, they might be compact, but they're not, um, they're not really for the faint-hearted even, because they have got a really nice sort of taut chassis on them. You can really throw them about a bit. You can have a lot of fun on a twisty B-Road in an MX-5. But let us know your buying experiences from them. Have you previously had an MX-5? And of course, get in touch with us if this is one that interests you. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.